What's up miners, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to mine Saitama Inu with the Ominable app and also some other miner programs that will deliver better performance. If you are not familiar with Saitama Inu, I will leave a link in the description so you can check it out. If you go to CoinGecko, you can see the coin is not even ranking, okay? And the price is very, very low. This makes it a very, very unique opportunity at the moment to mine it with onminable.com since you are going to get a lot of coins um, you know, in, a, in, a, in a faster way, let's say. Um, the first thing that you need to do is uh, get a wallet for this one. Uh, it's an ERC20 token. Uh, get any wallet um, that has support for the Ethereum network. For example, MetaMask is, uh, is the one I would use. And then you have other options like um, Atomic Wallet, Trust Wallet, those might have support for the token. Then uh, you're going to go and uh, place an exclusion on a folder. So open up your starter menu and look for Windows Security, type Windows Security, then go to Virus and Threat Protection. From here, Manage Settings, and then scroll down to Exclusions. Add an exclusion folder, create a folder under your desktop and name it Exclusions. S uh, set it uh, for the exclusions. This will allow you to download all the files that are needed without having them uh, flagged as malware, even though they are not. So after that, next step is to go to onminable.com, click download, then um, download the file on the left, which is the MFI version. We're going to save it inside the folder. We are going to press Ctrl J in Chrome keep dangerous file, keep anyway, show in folder. And from here, we're going to extract this file. Then we get the Unminable Miner app. We right click it and click run as administrator. Once the program loads, click continue. If you have a graphics card in your computer with at least four gigabytes of memory, then select GPU. Otherwise, select CPU, click next. Select Saitama from the drop-down, enter your address for Saitama Inu, and then use this code E4XD-WMZL. This will allow you to drop the pool fee from 1% to 0.75%. Click Start. You are going to allow this um, a couple of minutes to ramp up. In the meantime, let's uh, uh, check the settings. Make sure the intensity is high. You have a, a name for the worker, the code. You can click Save and Restart. And uh, in the lower left corner, we are going to see our hash rate is uh, around 1,300, 1,400. I'm going to stop now and I am going to show you a different way of mining that delivers better performance. So this is the second way of mining and it's not using the Ominable app, but using the mining programs directly, let's say. We have XM rig to mine with the CPU and we have Gminer to mine with the GPU. So let's uh, take a look first at XMRIG. I made two modifications to this program. One is dropping the donation fee that we have to pay to XMRIG to 0%. And also I created this file, start mining. You just right click it, run as administrator, and then the program will request all the details it needs. So we type the name of the coin, Saitama, enter the address, select allocation, a name for the worker, then wait a couple of seconds, enter again, and the program starts working. Uh, it starts making the connections to the mining pool. And um, at this point, uh, we are mining. Okay. If we don't see any errors and, you know, we confirm the donation fee 0%, so you get a little extra there. Now, I want to demonstrate also with uh, Gminer for the GPU. So in the case of Gminer, we have this file, Start Mining. We right click it, run as administrator, and the program will request all the details it needs. So we type the name of the coin, Saitama, uh, the address, then allocation. If our card has four gigabytes, we type etc hash. If the card has more than four gigabytes, et hash. Type enter, and then the name for the worker. At this point, the program starts. Okay, I cannot mine with this card because it's just one gigabyte, so it's going to give me an error. But in your case, you will see uh, it will start building the DAG. 
and once it gets to 100%, it will start mining and making all the connections to the mining pool, okay? So this is just a demonstration, but uh, in your case, it will work. Coming back to XMRIG, you can press the letter H. You can check in that way your speed or hash rate, okay? Confirm that uh, it is connecting to the pool and it's working. Now, this is all there is to it. I'm available in Telegram. The link is in the description. If you have any questions or if you want help with the setup or optimizations, I'm happy to help. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.